South Korea's KF-21 Borome represents one of the most ambitious fighter aircraft programs outside the traditional Western powers. Designed as a 4.5-generation multi-role fighter, the KF-21 aims to bridge the gap between classic 4th-gen jets and expensive 5th-generation stealth fighters. The KF-21 Borome is a twin-engine, multi-role fighter capable of flying at speeds of around Mach 1.8. It has a combat range of about 1,000 kilometers and a ferry range exceeding 2,900 kilometers with external fuel tanks. The aircraft can carry up to 7.7 .7 tons of weapons and fuel on 10 external hardpoints, allowing it to perform both air-to-air -air and strike missions. Powered by two GEF-414 engines, the KF-21 combines strong performance with reliability making it well-suited for modern, high-intensity air combat. One cost-effective, high-end fighter. The KF-21 is designed to deliver near-fifth-generation performance at a much lower price. With mass production scheduled to begin in 2026, the aircraft is projected to cost around $83 million for Block 1 and $112 million for Block 2, making it a significantly more affordable alternative to Western fighters, like the F-35, while still offering modern sensors, networking, and combat capability. Powerful ESA radar developed in Korea. One of the aircraft's biggest achievements is its indigenous ESA radar, developed by Hanwha Systems. It enables long-range detection, multi-target tracking, and electronic warfare support, giving the KF-21 a sensor edge over older fourth-gen fighters. The KF-21 fighter is a 4.5-generation aircraft, not a full fifth-generation jet. But South Korea is actively working on an upgraded future version. Planned developments include internal weapon integration, improved sensors, and further stealth enhancements, which are intended to make the aircraft more advanced and stealthier, moving it closer to fifth-generation capabilities in upcoming variants. The program is structured in blocks, ensuring steady upgrades. Block 1, air-to-air -air dominance focus. Block 2, multi-role strike capability. Future blocks may include internal weapons bays, pushing the aircraft closer to fifth-generation standards. Indonesia and South Korea have jointly introduced the KF-21 fighter program, but Indonesia holds a relatively small stake in licensing and manufacturing rights. The project is primarily led and managed by South Korea, with technical guidance and coordination support from Lockheed Martin, especially in areas related to design, systems integration, and program management. Long-Range Missile Compatibility The aircraft is being integrated with Meteor Beyond Visual Range Missiles along with Iris-T and future indigenous South Korean weapons. This gives it serious long-range kill capability, especially in air superiority missions. Twin-engine reliability. Unlike many modern fighters, the KF-21 uses a twin-engine configuration, enhancing survivability, safety, and performance particularly over maritime regions, where engine redundancy is critical. High payload for strike missions. With a payload capacity of up to 7.7 .7 tons, the KF-21 can carry a wide mix of air-to-air -air missiles. Precision-guided bombs, cruise missiles, and external fuel tanks, making it flexible for both defensive and offensive roles. Designed for export from day one, unlike many national fighter programs, 
The KF-21 was export-oriented from the start. Its cost, open architecture, and non-US weapons integration make it attractive to countries seeking modern capability without political or budget constraints. Rapid progress and successful testing. Since its first flight in 2022, the KF-21 has achieved multiple supersonic flights, aerial refueling tests, weapons separation trials, and sensor validation, placing it among the fastest progressing fighter programs in recent history. Why the KF-21 matters? The KF-21 Borome is not just another fighter. It represents South Korea's arrival as a top-tier aerospace power by combining affordability, modern technology, and future growth potential. It fills a critical global niche between legacy fighters and ultra-expensive stealth jets. As mass production begins in 2026, the KF-21 is set to become one of the most important new fighters of the decade. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about KF-21 Fighter in the comments section.